The 2020 NHL Draft was a night of dreams, a culmination of years of dedication and talent for young hockey players. The Bell Center in Montreal, a city steeped in hockey history, buzzed with anticipation. The air crackled with excitement as the names of future stars were called, each selection a significant moment a life-changing event for the young men who would soon be donning their new team jerseys. Amidst the excitement, a different kind of drama was unfolding, a story that would soon become the talk of the rock world and beyond. Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, decided to make a surprise appearance at the draft. As a self-proclaimed hockey enthusiast, he had no official ticket or invitation, just a desire to be part of the energy and soak in the atmosphere of this revered event. Little did he know his presence would soon be met with a force far more powerful than any slap shot. Celine Dion, the Canadian songstress, was set to perform the national anthem, a moment of pride and patriotism before the draft commenced. As she took her place on the ice, her powerful voice began to fill the arena with the familiar strains of O oh Canada. The crowd, a sea of red and white, rose to their feet, joining in a chorus of national pride. But then, Something unexpected happened. Dion's eyes, usually focused on the audience, locked onto a figure in the stands, a familiar face that had become a symbol of both intrigue and controversy. Prince Harry, the prince, who had chosen to step away from his royal duties, was seated among the hockey fans, seemingly oblivious to the storm brewing on the ice. Dressed casually, he blended in with the crowd a stark contrast to the formal attire of the dignitaries and celebrities around him. The song came to a sudden halt, Dion's voice replaced by a quiet fury. Known for her grace and poise, she now stood with a pointed finger, her gaze unwavering, her anger palpable. The crowd, caught off guard by this sudden shift, fell silent. Get him out, Dion demanded, her voice echoing through the stunned silence. He doesn't belong here. Security, alerted to the situation, swiftly moved in, surrounding the bewildered prince. He looked confused, his eyes wide with disbelief. He had come to enjoy the draft, to share in the excitement of the event, and now he was being ushered out. His hopes of a peaceful evening were dashed by this unexpected confrontation. Under Dion's watchful eye, they escorted him out, his presence a fleeting memory in the arena. The crowd, still stunned by the sudden turn of events, murmured amongst themselves, trying to make sense of what they had just witnessed. The question on everyone's lips was what had sparked this dramatic outburst. The answer lay in the complex relationship between the Sussexes and Canada. While some Canadians embraced their decision to step back from royal duties, others, particularly those deeply rooted in tradition, saw it as a betrayal. Celine Dion, a staunch supporter of the royal family and a proud Canadian icon, firmly fell into the latter camp. She was absolutely livid that Harry had the audacity to show up uninvited, revealed a source close to the singer. She saw Harry's decision to leave as a betrayal, and his presence at the draft felt like a slap in the face to the Canadian fans who have embraced the monarchy for generations. Dion, deeply proud of her Canadian heritage, felt Harry's appearance was disrespectful, an attempt to hijack the spotlight. His uninvited presence, she felt, was an insult to the event and the audience, a disregard for the traditions and values she held dear. She saw it as an act of defiance, a rejection of the very fabric of Canadian identity that she had always championed. The incident sparked heated debate, with some praising Dion for her principled stand, while others criticized her for overreacting. Some saw it as a display of diva-like behavior, a moment of ego eclipsing the spirit of the event. Others saw it as a passionate defense of her homeland and its traditions, a powerful expression of her deeply held beliefs. The debate raged on social media, with fans and commentators alike weighing in on the controversy. Regardless of the opinion, one thing was clear. Celine Dion's outburst added a captivating chapter to the ongoing saga of Prince Harry's life outside the royal fold. It was a moment that proved Celine Dion is not one to be trifled with and a reminder that even in the world of hockey, royal drama can take center stage.